Hello pre-calculus students and welcome to a video on Kramer's rule with three equations. Now before you do this video you have to understand the idea of a determinant with a two by two. So here's evaluating, we, we talked about two by two determinants, now we're going to talk about three by three determinants. So you need to know how to solve these two by twos because when you solve a three by three it requires you to solve three different two by two. So you have to know how to do this first. Okay, so we learned how to do that. Um, we learned how to take a system of two equations and make three determinants out of them. And then we, we did that specifically with an example. And then here's Kramer's rule with just an X and Y. Now let's kind of go through what we're going to do here. We're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to learn how what a three by three determinant is. Do an example of solving or evaluating one. We're going to learn how to make our, here we have four because we need a Z now. So we have four different three by three determinants that we're going to have to work through to, in order to be able to use Kramer's rule. We need D, X, and Y, but we also need DZ now, so we need a fourth one. And then if you look at Kramer's rule, it is very, very much the same. All that we've done here is add, I have a little trouble with the zoom, add the Z. Okay, we've added that variable. Okay, so let's let's first look at how this even works. Just make, it's a very mechanical process. Once you get used to it, it's pretty easy. So the first thing that we do is we put a, we, we start out with the top corner up here. And we're going to put a little, um, I'm just going to kind of temporarily cross out my A column and my A row. Now notice when I do that, I get a 2 by 2 determinant left over. Well, A times that 2, determ 2 by 2 is the first part. So I have A times EFHI. Now, this positive, negative, positive, which you can also write as um, same, opposite, same, this represents the sign of that first letter. So whatever sign that A is, if it's a positive number, this will be positive. If it's a negative number, this will be negative. But I'm going to, I didn't close my determinant, but I'm going to do that again. Now I'm just going to erase what I have here. I'm going to do that again now with B. I'm going to put a vertical line and a horizontal line through B leaving me with two here and two here. Those are going to make another two by two determinant, which I'm going to multiply by the opposite of B, because it's the same and opposite. So now I'm going to actually, it's, it's subtraction only if this is a positive number, but it's the opposite or minus whatever B is, times the two numbers that are left over. So D, G, F, I. So D, G, F, I. Okay. And then same sign, so whatever, so we do the same thing a third time. So I'm going to just put the lines through the C, and that leaves me with the 2 by 2, so it's C times that 2 by 2. And we keep the same sign for C. So it's plus C times the 2 by 2 that's left over, D-E-G-H. D-E-G-H. Okay? Pretty straightforward. Once you get used to it, it's just a matter of solving a bunch of two by twos. It does get a little bit tedious. Let's look at an example. I'm going to pick some numbers here and I'll write them down and then we'll, we'll work it out. Okay, so here's our first three by three determinant and this will be a number when we're done. This is going to be a number. As long as there's all numbers, there's no variables in here. It's just going to be a number. So the first thing I do is I just kind of imagine that this line is crossed out. So it's going to start out with two times. That's our A, right? That's the A from up here. 2 times the 2 by 2 determinant, which is 2715. 2715. Okay. Minus a negative 1, so that's actually plus 1 times the determinant that's left over if I strike through these. So I get 4015. 4015. And then the 3 for the last one, so we just do one more here. So it's crossing out the 3, and then that's our 2 by 2 determinant, 4027. So this is plus 3 times 4027. All right, I'm one step closer to getting this just to be a number. Um, notice that this is the same sign, so it's plus. This is the opposite sign, so it's instead of minus, it went to the opposite, opposite, and this is the same sign. All right, so we've got 2 times 10 minus 7 plus 1 times 20 minus 0 
plus 3 times 28 minus 0. Okay, and then this is 2 times 3, which is 6. This is 1 times 20, which is plus 20. And this is 3 times 28, which is um, uh, 84. All right, so add these together, and you get 110. And there you evaluated the first, that's your first 3 by 3 determinant. Um, that you've probably ever evaluated. So there we go. Now we're going to create three by three determinants out of um, a system of equations. So I just took the same system of equations right here. Um, this is three equations with three unknowns. These can be a pain if you don't have a systematic way of doing it, uh, if you have to be creative about it. But here, I just rewrote it. three. It's exactly the same system. I rewrote it four times so we can see the, uh, the four determinants. So the D determinant just takes all of these. So we're going to get the determinant of 2, negative 1, 1, 1, 2, negative 2, negative 1, 4, negative 3. Oops, sorry about saying that. Okay, this one, next one, is going to be replacing our x's with the answer column. So we're going to evaluate for this one, we're going to evaluate 3, negative 3, 4. You just have to really take your time and be careful with these so you don't make a mistake. There's a lot of steps. 1, 2, negative 2. Negative 1, 4, negative 3. That's our dx. Our dy, we're going to replace these with the answer column. So we're going to get 2, negative 1, 1, 3, negative 3, 4, and then the z column stays, so negative 1, 4, negative 3. Determine. Okay, and then the z's will be replacing their z column with the answers, answer column. So we're going to get 2, negative 1, 1, 1, 2, negative 2, and then 3, negative 3, 4. Okay, now all we have to do, and it is kind of a lot of work, I'm not going to lie, uh, all we have to do now is evaluate each one of these 3x3 three three determinants, and we're on our way. Okay, I'm going to do the first one with you, and then I'll kind of pause the video and just show you the answers to the others. So let's just do one more together. So we've got um, 2 times uh, this one right here. So, oops, it's this way first. 2 times 2, 4, 2, negative 2, 4, negative 3. Minus 1, I changed the sign, so this is minus 1 times negative 1, 1, 4, negative 3. And then same sign, so it's minus 1 times negative 1, 1, 2, negative 2. So this is 2 times negative 6 minus 8 minus negative 8 so plus 8 minus 1 times 3 minus 4 minus 1 times 2 minus 2 okay so that gives us 2 times 2 minus 1 times negative 1 minus 1 times 0 and that gives us 4 plus 1 plus 0, minus 0, which is 5. So our first 3 by 3 determinant there has a value of 5. So D, I'm just going to say here, D equals 5. It's just a little bit easier if we keep track of exactly what we're looking for. Okay, I'm going to um, do this one, but I'm going to just pause the video, and then I'll show you the answer, and then we'll go on to Y. So just, just do X, and then um, pause it for a minute and do DX. Okay. So dy is 15. So I do have a little white out here because I actually made a mistake. I had copied this. Um, you move this three, this column over here. I had put that in negative. Make one little mistake like that, and it will carry over, and you'll never even know that you made a mistake because I did this twice, so I had a chance to check my work. You might not do that. So that's um, positive, positive, positive. That's a six. I had originally had a negative six there and said, wait a second, something's wrong. 
All right, let's try the next one. So let's put a little line through here. And I'm going to, again, pause it and let you guys try dy. All right, so dy is negative 10. By the way, I had accidentally called this dy. This is dx. So dx so far is 15. dy is negative 10. d is 5. We have one more, and then we're ready to apply Kramer's rule. So give it a try. Um, I already uh, wrote down the 3 by 3. All we have to do with this is evaluate it. Okay, I'm going to pause the video. Okay, so there it is. There's dz. And by the way, notice how these all came out to be integers. I will make this pretty much universal. So I'll make sure that all of your determinants have at least integers for the four by the three by threes. Not no promises. Your final answers might be some fractions, but you're going to get some nice integers each time here. Um, actually, I think most likely all the final answers will go in nice and evenly. So let's see what happens here. So we need to find. So we've got our four determinants, and we know that x is equal to dx over d, so dx is 15, over d, right here, is 5, so x is 3. Let's do the same thing with y. So y is dy over d, which is negative 10, over 5, and that means that y is negative 2. And z is dz, which is 5, over d, which is also 5, and that equals 1. So z is 1. So this is an order triple, 3, negative 2, 1. We will talk briefly about what an order triple is and how you can actually graph that. Um, there is a whole part, like the third semester of calculus is all in three dimensions, and it has to do with um, three variables, so you'll, you'll want to get a little introduction here. Um, but you won't see that for the first year. You won't see that. I don't think you'll see it at all in Calc A, B, or B, C. Okay, so I um, hope you found this video helpful. Have a great day.